Welcome back, everybody. Boyd Buchanan continues to dominate this season. Brian Armstrong joins us live from Boyd as the Bucks hope to have a repeat of last year's game against the Silverdale Seahawks. One of my favorite shows is Burn Notice, and Michael Weston's the lead character in that, and he says, revenge as a spy is a dish barely served at all. But when you sometimes get it, you get a little smile there. Silverdale may be looking for some revenge, but they won't let anyone know that's what they're looking for. They are solid. They're solid at the front. They're solid at the secondary. They're solid, uh, you know, offensive lines, big. Boy Buchanan beat Silverdale last year 48 to zip. Everybody wants to go back and do a repeat. Uh, they've got a lot of, uh, they've got a lot of revenge mindset, but we're not, we're we're ready for it. They say they got stuff for us, but I think we're just going to be just fine. They're a good football team. They're well coached. They got good players. You know, I have a lot of respect for their program, and the way Coach Connor does things. So we're looking forward to it. It'll be a good game. Trying to get revenge for last year? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we're 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 more focused on us playing better than we did last week. Um, you know, what happened last year happened last. Year. Year, we're, we're trying to live in the present moment. But by no means does Silverdale think that this year will be any easier. One of the coaches that I talked to about him just <laughs> said that's the best power running football team he's seen. He's been coaching a while. Uh, so, you know, we're going to have to play our best game uh, to give ourselves a chance. That's part of my job as a coach to make sure we're through. We're, we're ready weekly, and, and we've done a pretty good job of that. We're not overlooking anybody. We're not looking ahead to anything. But Silverdale has gotten older and more experienced from last season. This year, you know, they're coming in with that experience, and they're, they're just building on that experience. So, and those are in key positions. Uh, you know, our quarterback, second year, uh, first year as a starter of the whole year. Now with Boy Buchanan being a perfect 4-0 in the last two years under Coach Rankin, they have only lost one game, and that being obviously in the state title game. Silverdale enters this contest at 3-1, and and will be hoping for avoiding that 46 to nothing victory in favor of Boyd. Reporting from Boyd High School, Brian Armstrong, News 12 Sports.